All right, Blakey T, you ready to rip off the Band-Aid? Yeah, well, okay, who's who's at the bottom? Oh, it's Zack Ryder. <laughs> <laughs> A two-time now Highway to Hell entrant. The vi one last year. Yeah, now no the, salvation this year. The best of the best, our best worst, Neo of Map Mania. Oh, no, Neo. Yeah. And uh, don't worry, he's not alone, because Teek's joining him. Oh, no. I think if either member of Map Mania make it to the end... They can save. Yeah, they can save the other one. Okay. And we change it to maybe they fight the tag team champions. That Okay, that'll work. Uh, and he's fighting. I hate to say it, Blake. Buddy. Yeah, that should be known. Now, fourth and fifth. Um, uh, Blake, I'm sorry. It's BB Butterfield. Ah, uh, he's barely done anything. And uh, then, of course, Bowser, who we have seen dominate in the past. So shocked uh -huh. he's here. And then both members of the BB Butterfield developmentally unstable because off the church. And finally, a man who's escaped death more times than I can count is a bad, bad, bad boy. boy. This one sucks. <laughs> this one fucking sucks. I, um, man, I don't know. I guess Buddy. I guess Buddy or one of the Map Mania squad. Yeah, I want... And, and that's the sucky thing about uh, old Butterfield and uh, Arthur Church is they've barely done anything, but I love both of them, like, character-wise. Yeah, but oh, now well. it's... Who's ready to get a little tender love and chair because it's a TLC match, Ryder and Neo X. All right. <laughs> what fucking Ryder does it again? <laughs>Zack Ryder. Now, of course, we learned from the women's Highway to Hell tournament that these ladder matches really proved to be a boon for you because at the end of the day, there's not as much brutality. You're not focused on keeping shoulders to mats. You're focused yeah. on climbing. Yes, outside of, like, the like uh, initial... Um, un until the point that ladders start getting in, it's more like a normal match, but as soon as somebody brings that ladder in, it's basically over. It's just who can get to the top first and keep the other person off. That's right, it becomes Although a Neo. race. Neo's going after the chairs. Damn, Neo! Okay. Um, Neo it is always... certainly not looking for a repeat this year when it comes oh. to Zack Ryder. Oh my god! god. It is um, it is nice to see the Fruity Pebbles back. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I figured we can, we can go to the old JXT arena, hang out with the Fruity Pebbles for a few. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, my God. Neo's head cracking against that steel chair, steel chair. that now Zack Ryder is wielding and is just beating the life out of Neo X with it. And that is going to be a, If Neo manages to climb that ladder and move on, that is going to be a point for the uh, opponent to look at all of those welts from those chair shots. Indeed, you're going to see uh, uh, just where the punishment is. That's one of those things. Like, it would, may not have been the best idea for Neo to bring that chair out so early. He doesn't know what he's going to face. That is right, but now he is taking Zack Ryder before. What a lion salt! Oh, my God! Nice! Before picking him back up, what is he looking for here? Oh, was going for Old Faithful there, your favorite and mine, the Falcon Arrow. But unfortunately could not get it up. Zack Ryder refusing. God, what if he hit the Rough Rider to the outside through the ladder? Oh, God. Absolute mad la No. No! No. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Neo no, Neo's back up. Neo immediately no. saw the danger of that situation. <laughs> he just kind of tripped him. <laughs> oh, Not this year. Ryder, Ryder fights back. Ryder fights back. Sends him into the turnbuckle. Could we see a broski boot? Zach? Zach. 
What's he doing, bro? Oh, oh. went for the splash, <laughs> but Neo avoided it. Oh, discombobulation. Sends him across the ring now. Goes for the splash. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Oh, drives his head directly down into the mat before. Oh, ooh, just stomping away on the skull of Zack Ryder as Neo X. God damn. Neo, you just gotta. You go do it, Neo. Do it now. Don't let him win. Neo climbing to the top of the ladder, grabbing that briefcase in hand. Can he be the one to take it down? Oh, not if Zack Ryder has anything to say about it. Joining him up top. What is the broski thinking here as he has Neo quite literally on the ropes, just laying in vicious shot after shot, but Neo fighting back. Oh, sends him headfirst in the turnbuck. Oh, sends him to the mat. Oh. And Neo X is once again standing tall. Neo, he could have it. He could have the whole thing here. Zach is barely stirring. He's not stirring at all. This is Neo's game to win. That's right, Zack Ryder unmoving flat as a pancake on the earth and looks like Neo X is ensuring that there will not be a repeat this year for Zack Ryder. Get the fuck out, Zack. Finally got rid of Zack yep. Ryder after so, so many, many months. Uh, go back to CZW. Yeah! <laughs> Well, Neo X now moving on, only has two more matches on his path to quite possibly claiming not one golden ticket, but two. Um, that was a good feeling, at least. All right. No, oh, no, Blake. <laughs> oh, this is just a normal one on one, too. BB Butterfield's going to have to power through this. I'm right Wait, it's a steel cage now! Whoa. What? I'm climbing up very I high. cannot climb God. anything. Well, neither can Bowser, I suppose. <laughs> God! <laughs> <laughs> I had to get geared up for this one. <laughs> Big DDT, though, from Butterfield. Bowser, are you good? Oh my god, no. No, no, BB. Oh god. Just stomping on the fists. Stomp them on those hands, yes. All right, I'm going to go climb out now. <laughs> Bye. Call <laughs> now. Oh, never mind. Get your fuck out, bitch. What a hoss battle. Yeah. What an absolute thick boy match we have here. <laughs> Thick Boy Battlefield. The Thick Boy Battlefield is open, but let's not forget whoever walks out of this one has Neo X to contend with in the next. God, just working that arm, huh, BB? Yeah, get him, BB. Get him, BB. Oh, was trying to sweep the oh. leg, but wouldn't let it happen. BB Butterfield's not even facing him. <laughs> he just kept looking away. <laughs> oh, God, it was a... That lucky hit from Bowser got uh, him draped over the ropes. Now Bowser's climbing up. BB, you gotta stop it. Whoa, BB got immediately oh, back up. BB Butterfield said, fuck you. Whoa! <laughs> Emphatically. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. He's up, he's up, he's up. What a flapjack. <laughs> he just fell like a brick. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Went for a big slam. Oh, and then the bum 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 move. Oh, Drops him. Goes for it. Two. Kick out. <laughs> really wish we could see. Could see. Like, that. Get love if I could hear the counts on that one. <laughs> yeah, it didn't mean a lot, y'all. <laughs> All right, but wait a minute. Bowser with some big chops. Trying to chop down this big red oak known as BB Butterfield. BB Butterfield. Butterfield. Oh, who then? What is this? Oh, Atomic drops <laughs> I'm feeling it now. I'm feeling it now. I'm... You know what? I don't want to climb out the F just yet. That's right, but wait a minute. Picks him back up and then... Got BB Butterfield working that arm, huh? Yeah, he's going for it. Oh, and then a vicious lariat just drops Bowser. And now BB Butterfield climbing up to the top of the steel cage and Bowser is unmoving and unwavering. Can yep. BB Butterfield do it? And it looks like he is attempting it right now going to the top. Uh-huh, but Bowser has stirred. He is up and he's just got to 
Oh, it oh. looks like he's yep. not going to be able big, to make it. Big punch straight to the knee, trying his best to just drag him back in, but you got to be nervous. No! BB! 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 Bye. Bowser's down! Bowser's down, and BB is tackling that lock! Come on, BB! BB. Come on, BB! No! no! Another shot! Damn it. Come Bowser on. didn't stay down that long at all. No! He's going again! <laughs> Come on, BB Butterfield! I'm just going to do it one more time. I'm just going, going to, to try it. once again, <laughs> please. Yes! 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 Bowser! Bye. Bowser just barely missed his opportunity to punch that leg back in, and BB Butterfield secures the victory. I did it. I climbed really high. It was scary. I didn't like that, I'll have to tell you. Oh, there he is. The Butter Man. The Butter, the butter man, man is doing it. <laughs> Ah, uh, God bless you, people. Neo versus ah, uh, fuck. This person has to fight Mark. Oh, oh no. Oh, oof. This just says tournament. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know. I guess we're gonna find out. Ah, no old barred. Yeah, that's fine. We all can right, work with right. that. Uh, this is a perfect match for these two. Oh yeah, absolutely. God, are we gonna... Oh, if we lose two of our longest standing people, Joey Janela and Zack Ryder, just like this in the first round. This Highway to Hell tournament may kill all of our real people. With the exception of Mega Ran. Oh, Cause... shit. Yeah, because Neo and Man. Teak, Joey... We still... we still got Hangman. We still. Oh, yeah, we still do have Hangman. All right, Arthur Church, Joey Janela. Couldn't be more complete opposites until you consider how they duel in the ring. Both of them are brawlers. Both of them are known for causing destruction wherever they go. So while, yes, outwardly, they may look like complete opposites, I, I think this may be a, a match made in heaven. Yes, I think this may be something, uh, well, once in a lifetime, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, and, but see, that's the worrisome thing about this brawling style, though. It's going to weaken a lot of different parts of the body, no matter who you are and who wins. So, it, coming into the next bout, that could be very detrimental. That's right, and Arthur Church has already taken time to gloat on the top rope. He's beaten Joey to a point where Arthur can already go up, brag to the crowd, and not worry about Joey attacking him. That's the kind of viciousness that this brawler has to offer. And that's why I'm, I'm going to say, if I'm Cinder the Punch Boy back there looking and seeing my tag team partner eating this kind of damage, I got to be afraid. Yeah, absolutely. When you know that your tag partner could very well be lost in this, I mean, what would Cinder do? That's right. Now, wait a minute. Joey is taking him down. Sliding to the outside is Janela. Who picks up Arthur Church, mm. goes for those big shots. And once again, this is no holds barred. There are no counts, all brutality. Absolutely. Brutality among the Fruity Pebbles. <laughs> Damn it. I didn't notice, and then I saw him again. <laughs> oh, and Babadook's face Babadook. on the side of the ring. <laughs> oh, I love it. <clears throat> Ooh, big heel kick from Joey. Levels Arthur Church, but wait a minute. Church back to his feet, dropping Janela behind him like a sack of potatoes. Uh, yeah. You know that feeling you got probably like a couple episodes ago? Uh -huh. It just hit me. It just hit yep. me that this may be the last we see of Joe for Janela. This is the last we'll see of uh, Bowser. Yep. Bowser's this gone. sucks. I know. Uh, every year we do this to ourselves. <laughs> every year, because we the, gotta clean. This is spring cleaning. It's it's autumn. It showed up. <laughs> oh wait, Bowser. Ooh, back body drop in Janella for his troubles. 
And look at that, Bowser now just saying, is that it? Is that all the fight that this bad, bad boy is going to bring? Oh, before punching him off to the outside. Mm -mm -mm. All right, now just dragging him around by his hair is Arthur Church. He is wasting no time, maybe trying to drive him into that barricade. Luckily, Janela escaping at the last minute. Yeah, Arthur Church, like... Honestly, it's funny because we may see a rematch from the developmentally unstable episode, Arthur Church, B.B. Butterfield. That's right. Gr uh, great uh, notice right there. But wait a minute, Janela, big punch, but Arthur fights out of it. These two individuals reversing just about everything getting thrown at them. It's just a matter of how much pain that reversal can cause. Yes, and honestly, we come back to it one more time. They are causing intense pain to each other that is going to carry over into the later matches. That's right. And then, oh, tossing him into that barricade is Arthur Church. As Janela now delivering those kicks to the knees before a big elbow shot straight to the nose. And I don't care how big of a man you are, you get hit in the nose, some tears are going to well up. It's going to make it hard for you to see as the battle ensues. Oh, absolutely. God forbid one of them bloodies the other. At that point... You may be, you may as well just be blind. That's right, and now getting picked back up is Janela. Arthur Church not even sh shrugging off all these hits Joey is throwing at him before being taken. Might be trying to get things back in the ring as Arthur Church, wise move. All this punishment on the outside, yeah, it's hurting Janela, but it's also hurting Arthur Church. And that is Absolutely. gonna cause some problems for him as things move on. Uh-huh, that is going to be a really, really bad situation to be in, even if he... No, he, he kicks out. He it's okay. He kicked out. That's all right. All right, but now wait a minute. Arthur's got him up. He's got him up. What is he looking for here? Oh my God! Beautiful rolling senton. The rolling hills just levels Janella before. Oh, look at that trapping the arm and just wrenching back with that cross face. Arthur Church is trying to decapitate Janella with this maneuver, seeking a oh. submission, but no. Janella rolls to his back. Yep. Oh, and manages to escape. Oh, God, Janela is it, has been in one bad situation after another in this match. But honestly, is that not where he excels the most? That's right, as he picks Arthur back up and drops him with the destroyer. Janela firmly in control now before going to the top rope. Could be seeking it. The over, the moon, stop, boom, straight to the ribcage. Oh, Falls Good. into the pinfall is the bad, bad boy to oh, Arthur Ooh. Church. Church said no to that one. All right, now Janela picking him back up. Could be seeking something big, but Arthur Church says no to that. Oh, was going for something big. Janela wisely rolled to the outside, avoiding it. Oh, my. Uh, you could, Joey, he is still a... Uh, something i don't oh, know janela went for a low blow and it allowed him to get that knee up he has got janela bloody but janela is still in this fight uh-huh joey's gotta watch out now and at this point he he's just taking so much punishment oh michinoko driver takes him down one Two! Ooh, getting out of it once again is Arthur Church. And for Joey Janela, you gotta think, what is it gonna take to keep this beast down? Uh, that is a very good question. This is, like I said, Joey Janela's wheelhouse. But Arthur Church has proven to be just an amazing competitor in his own right. Somebody who may be able to outdo Joey Janela at his own game. That's right, the Beast of Birmingham now tossing him to the outside before grabbing him and looking for a big suplex, and he nails it in the center of the ring. Uh-oh. Oh, even bigger uh-oh, because Joey Janela is directly in the path of Arthur Church, who's got him up. He's got him up. Pile driver to Janela. Oh, this may be it for the bad boy. This might be One, it. One, two, three. Arthur uh -oh. Church securing his place in the semifinals with an emphatic defeat of Joey Janela, but that was such a brawl. I, I've got no idea if Arthur Church can even stand for his next two matches. I know he's got uh, uh, 
at the very most two more he could fall in the next round but we will have to see if Arthur Church is up for it and if his suspenders will hold who fucking knows but now time to find the final member of our semi-finals will it be Teak Hall or fucking buddy buddy, buddy. Oh, in no. a tournament match <laughs> Don't be Iron Man. Don't be Iron Man. Oh, oh no, buddy. <laughs> buddy, get a gun. <laughs> buddy, use a weapon, please. Buddy, get a gun. <laughs> please don't die. Now, I will say, of the remaining people in this tournament, Buddy is the only one to have main evented a pay-per-view with the biggest prize in the business on the line. Buddy while may not have been successful he knows what it means to be that type of high caliber athlete and i think that's going to be what drives him during this is knowing uh, knowing his past knowing where he where he can go yeah because he's fucking getting it right now <laughs> oh t call her and oh, you plucked the to. leg out Oh, oh God. Went, went for a kick, but Buddy said no before. Oh, my God. Electric chair dropping. Teak Hall like it was nothing. And now working over the legs. Buddy, you mad lad. I can't believe you've done this, Buddy. <laughs> oh, and now Teak Hall looking to take advantage of the extreme rules stipulation. Going to the outside, and it looks like he has grabbed a bat. Oh, went to crack it over the skull of Buddy. But Buddy immediately knocks it out of his hands. Oh, Buddy, he is not playing any games today. Holy right. shit. Let's not forget if Teak Hall manages to win this and make his way all the way to the finals, who knows? We could see Teak versus Neo. And in that case, don't matter who wins, either one of them is going to be heading to the snap inning to face off against our tag team champions. And both of them will have golden tickets. At that point, it's just a matter of Teak versus Neo who can win. Oh, yep. But, I mean, fuck, man. If that happens, then so many good people will have died as well along the way. That's right. But, oh, Buddy was about to get cracked over the head with that bat. But Buddy said no. But no. Oh, what a flatliner from Teak Hall leveling Buddy. Oh, God. It looks like Teak has got this one in the bag. I mean, honestly, oh. it's... Buddy. You gotta stop talking, because they listen to you, bud. Oh, slams him to the mat, his buddy. And it looks like he is wasting no time with Teak Hall, because he's getting ready to take him to Bible school. Set him up. Mark the sign of the cross. Boom. Onto the what? bat Onto as Onto the well. bat, yeah. Like, wow. One. Two, kick out from Teak Hall, and you can see Buddy looking very upset about that. On the bright side, though, if Buddy dies, that means we can resurrect him as Bible Man. Oh, fuck yeah, you know we will. <laughs> DDT into the mat is Teak Hall. And now Buddy picking him back up, going for something big once again. Teak with a big arm drag, keeps Buddy on the mat before slamming him down with some emphasis. Oh, but Buddy Indeed, takes him into the turnbuckle. Him. Oh, uh, Teak, you gotta work real hard to Teak him out. That's right, and now sends him into the turnbuckle. Oh, and look at that. Teak just working over the lower back of Buddy before beautiful German suplex from Teak Hall. Wow. Oh, Teak went right for the bat, but he decided against it. <gasps> That's right, because he knows oh. the biggest rule in pro wrestling that no one kicks out of the Falcon Arrow, Arrow. onto the bat. Falls into the pin. One, two. Ooh, buddy, buddy kicking out at the last minute. Okay. Oh, I don't know now. Now between these two, I, I don't even know. But wait a minute, buddy. Oh, look at the strength being able to shove away Teak like it was nothing. And I don't know if you noticed that Teak was forced to take a knee. He wasn't even able to actually stand, stand. after that. Oh, and Buddy oh. now delivering shots to the bread basket over and over again before. Beautiful Russian leg sweep directly onto the bat. Like oh, 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 this is oh. a... Slams him once again. Buddy is on fire right now. I'm amazed at how high energy this match has been. And Buddy tossing Teak to the outside. Oh. Taking him back up. 
before. Oh, this may not be false count anywhere, but this will certainly cause an impact. Bible school, and he's got Teak bleeding. He's bleeding. He is bleeding. Holy shit. Big slaps, big chops, went for a kick, but Teak responds with a big clothesline, and that kind of clothesline shows what happens when a man sees his own blood. Beautiful oh Bimmy to Jimmy. Bimmy to Jimmy. Bimmy to Jimmy suplex. And then, oh, what? Yeah. Massive punch. Oh, it's still anybody's game, but these two have just absolutely worked each other over. It is not going to be a fun next match for whoever wins. That is right. Oh, but wait a minute. Teak Hall now picking him up before, oh, slamming him down with emphasis and then getting kicked straight. And now Teak Hall finally being able to use that bat. But Buddy, Buddy busts out of the way. Buddy gets out of the way. Suplex from Buddy. <sighs> Bud Plex. Falls into the pinfall. One, two. Kicking out his Teak. You can see oh. Buddy, he saw that bat underneath him, but look at that. He's telling him, that's not the way I do this. That is not how I win these matches. And unfortunately, that may be what gives Teak Hall the big advantage as he picks him up for a beautiful sit-out powerbomb. Indeed, Buddy. Buddy's moral objections to using weapons in a match, even an Extreme Rules match, it, it may be what kills him. That's right, and it looks like if it ain't that, it's gonna be this because Teak Hall is poised and ready to get him up. But no, Buddy says no to the Falcon Arrow. Buddy says no to the Falcon, Falcon Arrow. Arrow. He picks him up. Oh, tosses no. him into the ropes and then scoop slam for Buddy. Oh, oh my God. Holy shit. He's certainly doing that. That's right. And now Teak's hand is caught on something. But it doesn't matter because Buddy's got him for the Bible school. Ooh. Goes for the pin. Teak's hand is caught. One, One. two. No. Teak kicked out. Teak kicked out, but that hand, that hand Man. is <laughs> it's he's doing something. Oh, no. What did he do to it? You broke it. Teak's hand is broken. One, two. Oh, Buddy kicks out, and it looks like Teak finally managed to free his arm from the darkness. The hell, whatever the fuck that was. Yeah. Holy oh, shit. It, Buddy has got Teak Hall. Buddy may not like using weapons, but he has Teak Hall bloodied and broken on this mat, and he's now trying to snap the arm of Teak Hall. Oh, God. Using, That's... quite appropriately, a cross-arm breaker. <laughs> oh, but Teak fights out of it. This has been a fucking marathon of a match. I'll be honest. I love both of these individuals, but in my opinion, they're going to be walking into this next match. Whoever wins as a sitting duck, duck. they uh -huh. will be broken. They will be beaten. And we know who's going to be waiting to take advantage. But it looks like Buddy doesn't give a damn about that. Bible school, school. center of the ring, falls into it. One, two, three. Holy shit. Buddy. You maniac! I get to go home now, right, guys? Nope, you got two more waiting, buddy. Because you got to fight. Who did Who did one the last one? Off the church. Oh, no. Oh, no, buddy. You've got to fight Arthur Church, and then after that, it's you versus either Neo X or BB Butterfield. Oh, speaking of... Yeah, and uh, that's going to be happening in the semifinals and, of course, the finals. And who knows? Maybe this is the man to do it. He lost in a triple threat, but maybe when he faces Mark Place one-on-one, -on -one, he's, he's going to die. <laughs> Anyways. It doesn't matter.